Hello and welcome to the X Review. My name is Paul and today we're going to do something slightly different. Today we're going to go over a classic from David Bowie which was also uh, one of the biggest numbers from a musical, The Labyrinth, from Jim Henson uh, Productions, which is a brilliant family movie. I used to love it as a kid and I'm sure that your kids would probably love it too. Now, um, why am I going over this? I'll tell you why. Why the fuck not? Now, before we get in this, <laughs> there is a drinking game of Labyrinth. And if you haven't already known, uh, known this, I'm going to tell you now. The drinking game is, every time you see David Bowie's <laughs> protruding package, you have to drink. <laughs> and um, now I've said it, you ain't going to stop looking at it. <laughs> right, let's get on it, shall we? David Bowie was actually quite a good actor. He got right into this role. I don't think he actually acted before this. Hmm. So if you don't know, David Bowie's the king of the goblins and those are the goblins. Those are his minions. Oh, the late great David Bowie. What kind of magic spell to use? Sly man snails. I like how the government just got English accents. Thunder or lightning. It's like a thick uh, West London person. Kind of like me. <laughs> And at this point, this is Sarah, and she's looking for her baby brother, who uh, the Goblin King is uh, taken, because she asked for something and didn't actually want it. And she's trying to get to the centre of the labyrinth to get her brother back. And that cunt there is moving all her marks. <laughs> Now, wouldn't you get so pissed off? <laughs> in nine hours and 23 minutes, you'll be mine. <laughs> so, in nine hours and 23 minutes, if uh, she doesn't retrieve her brother, David Bowie turns her brother into one of them. I saw my baby trying hard as they could try. What could I do? My baby's fun has gone. <laughs> see that little kid must be enjoying this it's like what other kid gets to see all of that there but then again he's actually a twin they actually had twins on set because if one baby got tired and uh, uncooperative then uh, they'd get the other twin out If you hadn't already yet guessed, that was a baby, that baby that David Bowie threw wasn't actually a baby, that was a very convincing dolly that he threw up and just let the, uh, <laughs> let the uh, goblin catch, okay? All they did was just get the baby off camera and have the puppeteer grab him from about 
that height, okay? It wasn't a real baby that got tossed up in the air. <laughs> Although that would have been quite funny if it was. No, it wouldn't. No, no, absolutely no, no, no. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe and share. And if you haven't already done so, check out this goddamn movie. It's a good movie, a good family friendly movie. And even if uh, you don't have kids, watch it. It's a good movie. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe and share. And if you haven't already done so, check us out on Facebook, Gab, Twitter and Parlour. And I shall catch you next time. Bye for now.